I have to read to you from Dylan Byers at Politico this afternoon. New York Times executive editor Dean Bacay called an associate professor at the USC Annenberg School and A-S-S-H, you follow the rest, I can't say it on the radio, on Facebook today after the professor took a shot at Bacay for not running uh, the Charlie Hebdo Muhammad cartoons. Dear Mark, Bacay wrote to USC's Mark Cooper, quote, appreciate the self-righteous second-guessing without even considering there might be another point of view. Hope your students are more open-minded. A blank. What do you make of this? Uh, I don't understand what's going on with Dean McKay. Um, first of all, the executive editor should never become the story, which he just made himself with that. Uh, you know, and, and Dean, Dean got Jill fired because, in part because she had become the story. But you know, Dean got Al her Ring fired? Ten years ago got fired because he became the story. So Dean knows this. So I can only imagine that he knows that he made the wrong decision by not running those cartoons. And, and, you know, maybe he's too, uh, you know, he's too proud to admit it. And so what happens in that case? You lash out at the people who, you know, have told you you're wrong. Now, gonna, uh, for, for the benefit of the audience who don't know who Jill Abrams is and, uh, Abrams and, and don't know that she was the editor of the New York Times and she got fired. But you said Dean got her fired or did it? Did I misunderstand you? No, Dean did. get. I mean, look, it's yes. Dean basically got her fired. That is, uh, you know, he. He more or less went to the, the to Arthur Salzberger, who you know whose family controls the paper, and said, "It's Jill or me." I mean that that was that happened last year, and it's been widely reported. Okay, so Dean uh, goes off on a on a critic today and calls him a a, a blank hole, which I can't say because it's you know it will literally get me fined on every single station in the United States if I say that. It's one of the deadly words in in radio. Are they melting down at the New York Times? Are is everyone is missing the story? The story is Islamist Takfiri radicals killing people. I I don't. I mean, I don't think the Times is melting down. The Times is a great institution, and I don't even know if Dean is melting down. What I know, and what is very frustrating to me as a former Times reporter, is I don't understand why they didn't run at least one, if not a couple, of the cartoons. They should have. Um, you know, it, it both both for news reasons and to stand, you know, in, in favor of the principle of press freedom. And Dean has now given, you know, several sort of incoherent explanations for why. And the truth is, if he would just come out and say, look, we have people on the ground in dangerous places and I'm scared for them, I wouldn't like that explanation, but that would at least be an honest explanation. Instead, he said things like, well, we don't run things that offend people. You know, we have to be careful about offending people's sensibilities. I mean, that's just nonsense. You can go look and see that the Times over the years has run many offensive cartoons. The Times, you know, regularly reported on a, on a, you know, on a piece of sculpture called Piss Christ when it was in the Brooklyn Museum of Art and did so favorably. The Times is not afraid to offend religious sensibilities. So, so I, I yeah, Jeff Zucker at do. CNN said he's afraid for his people. So that's a bad answer, but that's an honest answer. 